we go. Look at that. Perfect. Pretty much just reined myself in and turned around from where the original plan was and basically... Yeah! So I kicked off the morning, bloody hopeless. Was gonna shoot some nice drone footy, but I've lost my left my bloody cord back at the vehicle. Which is typical when you're all bloody amped up to shoot some footage. You've forgotten something, so bit of a uh, skim dive mission this morning. As I just mentioned, I'm I was, well I was travelling fairly light right now, just I was like, I'll take the drone, I'll just take my, my little Osmo here, but I fucking left the cord back there, so I've really only got one camera and a phone on me right now, and carrying a drone for absolutely no reason. So um, we're gonna get over the hill, I'm a little spot out on the coast. It is a Tuesday, it's actually quite early on a Tuesday, it must be like 8.30, it's no one out here of course, because it's Tuesday. Oh well. Look at that. So, so beautiful. It, it would also appear the swells jumped overnight because when I checked it yesterday it was like really flat and I was sort of a borderline that I was like, oh it'll be, could be too flat which basically means it's kind of good for both things instead of this much swell where it means it might be pretty average for both things I can do today but making a plan getting it done So it's a critical time of day. A is breakfast and B the swell has really thrown a spanner in the works so I'm pretty much deciding what to do is to keep going with my original plan which the spot may have too much swell on it but I'm out on the coast I want to go over long. <laughs>
way. Um, I pretty much kicked myself around there and turned around. There was just too much swell, too much surge. I'm alone. It's ground I don't know. So I sort of just had to rein myself in a bit. It's been nothing but difficult. It's looking difficult now. I'm just trying to find some good ground to throw some kitter down. Because, um, I, I mean, I want... I want some bloody dinner, but um, it's not even looking that great for that. But I'm going to keep trying a spot or two, see how I go, obviously. Righty ho, we're in. Got a threaded bloody paint down his throat. Oh god, what the hell? Ow! Fuck, there's a fish spine in my thumb. There we go. Full of optimism when I left today. Even brought my filleting knife. Figured if I get a fish or two, I'll just fillet them out of here. Chuck them in the fridge, which is what I'm going to do. Just whip the fillets off it, get rid of the frame. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. That can go in the fridge. Oh, look at that. Lunch at the beach. Mmm. So what we got cooking, well, it's cooked now. We got some curry floured fish from today, the snapper. Shout out to the least used side of a grater for these chips. That thing? I only, I only really just learnt that today. I'm 34. To finish up this video, I just want to uh, basically touch on diver safety, especially if you're out there solo diving. I'm not going to tell anyone to not go solo diving. I've done most of my diving alone pretty much a because i like it b because if i don't go alone i'm never going to bloody go and that that's sort of a the biggest motivation for me is i can go when and how and and of course um dive spots that i like to keep secret or while i'm investigating ground and today was a good example of going to ground i've been through there before but not all the ground and the swell 
and the conditions just weren't what I was after so I pretty much just reined myself in and turned around from where the original plan was and basically you know you I am alone I'm fully aware I'm alone I'm diving within well within my abilities and if I'm not feeling comfortable in a spot I will simply just change plan and go to somewhere that um is, is, is a better idea because I've got to come home at the end of the day I've got to come home that comes first before anything um and I know there's been a bit of diver, a few diving accidents lately, and pretty much none of us want to be added to the list. I certainly don't want to be, and that's that's just something I wanted to touch on and emphasize it to a lot of you guys out there, especially if you're out there diving alone, is just to keep an eye on yourself above all things. I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.